And now, a can't miss moment from the Charlie James Show. But it's true. This is an absolutely true story. New York City. Tim, tell me what you think about this. New York City has unveiled their vending machines with free crack pipes and drug kits. <laughs> not even joking. Party city, man. That is not even joking. <laughs> First, we had old Joe Biden sending out those uh, uh, safe smoking kits, which are crack, uh, taxpayer funded crack pipes and accessories. Now, New York is placing these same si- uh, type of safe smoking kits in their public health vending machines. What is a safe smoking kit? I guess that's a <laughs> hygienic. Um, it's, it's it's completely it's, sterilized. It's, it's sanitized for your protection. Uh, crack pipe. It's a crack pipe. It's, wow. it's a crack pipe. But wow. but not only that. Um, uh, it also has Narcan, which I don't is even a, know what that is. It's an overdose rescue drug. Oh, there you go. You know, somebody's ODing <laughs> from a you know uh, they they have an opioid overdose. You turning uh, addicts into heroes. Squirt, squirt <laughs> a little um, um, uh, Narcan in their nose and save their lives. They also uh, they contain condoms, nicotine gum, and other health related items. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're exactly right. You want to you want to oh, listen to this. This is New York City, and their little propaganda piece. We'll we'll play a little bit of this for you. Here we go. Here's uh, CBS News two in New York. Thank you so much for coming on behalf of Services for the Underserved. I'm Rebecca Lynn Walton, and I'm so grateful and honored to have both the commissioner here and more importantly to have partnered with the health department on this life-saving service. I want to keep it brief because much more interesting than me talking is we're going to do a presentation where we're going to do a demo on how to get these life-saving tools outside (laughs) of the vending machine. And I just wanted to say that many of us come to this field because we know someone or we've had a loved one who's been impacted by substance use or mental illness. And we want to make sure that they have the life-saving tools they need on their way to recover. We see crack pipes are now considered a life-saving tool. It's a ghetto first aid kit. That's exactly what it is. (laughs) It's a ghetto first aid kit. You are exactly right. I had to buy, I bought a really good one first aid kit for the house, <laughs> and I had to pay for mine. Yeah. I had to, I mean, uh, They're you know, expensive. Good know, ones are. They, they anyway. really, really are. So what What do you think the chances are that these machines stay intact for more than a week? <sighs> Anybody? Uh, that's not it, happening. It's not happening. <laughs> no. Now, first of all, everything in it is free. It is literally free. Oh, it's all free? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All you got to do is just, oh, oh, look, let's see here. What do I want? Do I want the Narcan? No, I don't need the, oh, the crack pipe. A1. Beep, boop. Beep. Out comes your crack pipe. Somebody's <laughs> still going to bust into this thing and steal all of them. I, I it's just, I don't know. What a joke that the Democrats are right now, especially the, 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 uh, the, the, the Democrats in New York. Crack pipe vending machines. Somebody's going to get their arms stuck. Somebody, you're going to get the hanger. You're going to get one of the hanger honors there, and somebody's going to get their arms stuck and have to call 911 to come get them out. <laughs> They're going to okay. have to amputate. <laughs> Sorry. Don't miss the Charlie James Show. Weekdays 3 to 7 on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D. The voice of the Carolinas.